So howdy everyone, we're back to more Fancy 10 Part 2. Uh, the good news is that after solving the Mian Hyrule mystery, uh, we are done with Comspheres. We've been checking those out for what feels like an eternity, and we can actually carry on with the game and trying to find Toby's we can set up this concert. The not so good news is the Comspheres business isn't actually fully done for this chapter, but... <laughs> oh boy, let's worry about that in the future. All right then, so let's get ourselves over to the moon flow, which is where we'll find Toby. Hotspot will appear, so let's go get him. Huh? Yikes, sorry. Must have dropped you off at the wrong place. As long as you're there, why not take a little stroll? Don't you laugh at me over there. I see you. So, finally speak to Tobley. How hard can it possibly be? <laughs> I hope you've got a charm, Bangle. That's all I'm going to say. Hey, you. You haven't seen Tobley anywhere around here, have you? Uh, we have word that he's somewhere nearby. Oh, speak of the devil. There he is. Huh? Aha! There you are! Oh, dear. It seems Tobley has upset some individuals around here. And, uh, well, this is going to be a lot of this side quest is, um... We gotta hunt Toby down. I thought it was a treasure chest. That's why I didn't follow them. We gotta hunt Toby down and uh, and talk to him. But he's got some problems with some debt collectors. Where'd he go? There he is. Ah, that obnoxious midget found him. <laughs> Oof, that that line hasn't aged well, has it? Oof. <laughs> So, basically, what this is going to incur is we're going to end up, like, running up and down the uh, Moon Rock Road here, like, a good couple of times. And it's basically a case of, if you've got the Charm Bangle, it makes it a lot quicker, you know, otherwise you will be getting into loads of random fights here. And quite frankly, we don't need the levels right now. We're in good shape. Where'd that little ball of pudge learn to run like that? I'm beat. We can't keep up. <laughs> ah, that guy's struggling. Come back here, you beak faced fraud! Man, he is. He is upset some people. He'll be fine, probably. Hello? Mm hmm. No doubt about that. We saw him over at Guadalupe Salam. Banging on the, uh, the door there. He has clearly um, got into some trouble. Alright, well, what'd they get to? I don't know. Hoping you can tell me. No? Hmm. Sure he came this way through. <laughs> Guys fit? No, I can tell that. Is the wagon moving? Is it meant to be doing that? Is this like a model which used to have like a chocobo on the end of it? And they got rid of the chocobo, but the cart's still moving. It's moving ever so slight. I don't know if you can see that. It's definitely moving. Weird. Anyways, there's uh there's our comms here, by the way. Hmm. Has totally passed this way, sir? Ah, uh, no. Can't say I've seen him. He must still be on the south bank. <laughs> Go take another good look. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, high-pitched walker, sir. It's definitely him, right? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure they. I'm sure they've got him, brother. Well, must be back this way, I guess. Is this 
mission, a lot of busy work. Kinda. I mean, the first time I ever did this, I did not have a charm bangle. This took forever, and I hated it. There he is. Why don't you just stick in the trees? That seems to be probably a much more efficient, uh, efficient option to be taking. But yeah, that guy, he can move. Get back here. Whoa. <laughs> Freaking Grand Theft Auto here. <laughs> That sounds bad. Oh, jeez. Well, yeah. Yeah, you can say that again. Good God. Trashed it. <laughs> I bet you are. His Cheeto has gone ballistic. You can say that. Good God. <laughs> That's good parenting. Tobley is um, not a good role model. <sighs> hmm. Well, he must have come this way, surely. He says Tobley crossed the moon flow. Follow on sure path, yes. Man, he does get around quick, doesn't he? Hmm. <laughs> Definitely not. Rides the shoe pop. Yep, all aboard. All aboard. <laughs> I have a soft spot for the high power. There's such a like obscure minor race in the world of Final Fantasy. Also, hold on a was that Shubov's bat legs not moving, by the way? Was he just, like, sliding across the ground? <laughs> just saw that. Oh, Salam! Alright, we can make our way there. Hey, you guys! Kukutak and the other friends wish to stay the woods to the end. Well... You'll get there, Donga, don't worry. Alright, what a salam it is, apparently. <laughs> I gathered that. Hmm. I don't know, I mean, they've already been there. They might still be there. I don't know if that's gonna work. Yeah. This is the only time you can come here in 10 2. This is where Tidus reunites with Riku. Nice moment. Be here somewhere. You don't suppose he climbed into one of them trees, do you? Maybe? Seems a bit ambitious. Ooh. Oof. Yo, I'm gonna. You're gonna. Kill! <laughs> Get on, Walker. I mean, our bed, dude. Good grief. He is down and out. Someone give him a concussion test. <laughs> what is happening? Thanks to the super for the assist. Jeez. <laughs> They've given up. Mm-hmm. It's like a lawn to himself. I don't know if we should really be endorsing this. Anyways, Guado Salam is our target. This time. <laughs> what about the guy that's probably got like a broken neck? Man, Declaters have a bad rap in spirit. you here well spectacular 
very spectacular. Twill be a yummy Unipalooza indeed. Twill go down in history. I most definitely, definitely want to arrange it. Can I, can I? Yep, yep. A minor detail. Where, oh, where should it be? Well, the more people we can gather together, the better. Hmm. Aha! Then how about the Thunder Plains? Yes! You can practically pack a plethora of people in that place. Seems a bit dangerous. I guess there are towers. Now, how do we get people to come? Simple, simple, leave it to me. My power PR team will push it pronto. PR oh, team? <laughs> oh, no. Advertising is our specialty. We'll get you your spectators. Are you sure about this? <laughs> Brother's orders. Bring every last high pillow back with you. That's called an executive decision. But for our work, would you get the black tablet at Garmin Grid? We're over the calm lands now. We ready to go? Grab everyone you see! We do not want anyone in spirit to miss this! Leave it to us! Um, Will they be alright? What's happening? Be back in a jiffy, sister! What? Yes. They just dive off the roof. No parachutes. No protection. No nothing. You got guts. All right. Next stop. Guts is one way of describing it. What are you up to? The project. I'm engineering a giant sphere screen for this thing. Hmm. That way, even people way in the back will be able to see you. Your invention? <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention, we're still picking up lots of waves through the comm spheres. Nice work. <laughs> All the high pillow have been deployed. A tune, baby, to the concert ground! Wait, there's German in Spira? What? How's that work? <laughs> oh dear. I'll get to that in a second. Alright, next stop, Unipalooza. Guess I know the title of this um, video. Riku is down with Barkeep in the cabin. And is where we do need to head to to actually continue the story. Um, we got a bit of time to wait until we get to the planes. Riku wants to do some dress rehearsals. But we're not going to be doing that in this video. Because it's time for more comm spheres. Wanna check the comm spheres? Oh boy, it's going to be exciting. Can't you? Can't you wait for it? It's going to be... It's going to be great. Now, mercifully, we don't have as many places to go visiting in this one as we did the first time. Or at least there aren't as m quite as many scenes as previous, I don't think. I could be wrong, though. There's still going to be quite a few. So, uh, time for part two. All right, so let's begin our journey back in Besaid. Hey, Becklum. Oh, it's you. Hey, you doing, man? You've probably heard, but I've been called back to Youth League headquarters. It is a shame, though, having to leave Besaid in the hands of slackers. <laughs> Besaid will be fine. Walk us there to keep an eye on things. <laughs> Small consolation. If you ask me, his brother was ten times the man Waka is. You knew Chapu? <sighs> We fought in the Crusaders together. Huh. He always talked about Waka. Said, my brother's the greatest person in Spira. Imagine my surprise to find out the legendary Waka is nothing more than a wishy-washy wimp. Oof. There were so many things I'd wanted to talk to Waka about, but not anymore. Things? What kind of things? Memories. Well, that's enough chit-chat. I need to get ready to leave. Ah, that's kind of shame in a way. Don't worry. You'll still be able to do the gunner's gauntlet. Don't worry about that. 
Hey, Lulu! Shame on you, Yuna. Huh? What did I do? What's this about a concert? Doing something fun like that, even though you know I can't leave Besaid. <laughs> Not very thoughtful. <laughs> Sorry. I got tired of just standing around. You couldn't resist helping out. You haven't changed at all, have you? Even though you so wanted to. You could tell? How many years have I known you? You don't need to rush. You know, the most important changes happen naturally. And usually turn out better than if you try to force them. So that's how it works? In my experience, at least. Hey, Lou! Huh? Hey, Walker! You sure it's alright to be walking around so much? <sighs> you got twice as much reason to be careful, yeah? Yes, sir. <laughs> Take Waka. He probably doesn't even notice it's happening. <laughs> huh? Yuna, what's this about? <laughs> Just girl talk. That right. <laughs> Cause I'm thinking it's a boy. The way it's always kicking a loose stomach. On second thought, maybe he hasn't changed after all. <laughs> Ah, uh, good times. Lulu's dress, by the way, is like one of the craziest ones I've ever seen. And I, I will say as well, I do love how the game lampshades the, the fact completely of Riku does. How, although she's like, meant to be at this point, like, heavily pregnant, how her model has not remotely changed and it gets put it out. Wait, it's a great touch. Cost cutting, I guess. But hey, mate, they got the game out uh, a lot quicker than they normally would do. What advantage of using some assets. Hey! Well, the Toby's guys are here at uh, Besaid. Oh, my voice just went there. That was hideous. Hey, guys. Hey, Yuna. We heard about your concert. Too bad we can't go cheer you on. Why not? With the baby about to be born, we're kind of worried, yeah? Lulu's fine, but you know Waka. <laughs> But, uh, we should be able to hear you through this thing, right? We'll be rooting for you. Ah, oh, cheers, guys. It's time for today's surprise interview. Let's turn things over to Butta here in Besaid Village. What? Surprise interview? You don't mean... Waka, you're about to become a father. Tell us how that feels. I don't know. Won't really know until I am one, yeah? It seems he doesn't know. <laughs> that explains it. If he knew, he wouldn't be running around without a clue. <laughs> hey, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> 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 Kids. Welcome back for round two of our interview. This is Dado reporting from Besaid Village. Which will it be? A bouncing baby boy or an adorable little girl? Well, can't say for sure, but I got a feeling it's gonna be a boy. Oh, no, nope, it'll be a girl. Wait, why? How did you know that? You find out some way. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Ah, uh, make up your mind! <laughs> Teasing him. <laughs> this is Ben Tuttle on the scene. I like that. Though. That's not a bad player, actually, in Blitzel Bowman, if I'm at T10. Um, you know, Tears and Dow up front, not bad. Dow's got some serious endurance. Although, if you can get hold of Waka, kind of outplays him a little bit, but it's fine. I think that's about everything we can do here, by the way. I think uh, other than that, it's just uh, it's just Walker just walking around here. I'm pretty darn sure. So we're going to go ahead and uh, move on here. Oh, man, i got to edit this. Do you want to know how long it took me to edit the first run around of Comspheres? No. You don't want to know. Hey, 
Hey, Donna. Donna? Without you, the house seems so empty. I can't bear it. I wake up each morning, but without seeing your face, it's as though the day hasn't really begun. So please, please, come home, Bartello. She's practicing? Aw, oh, that's kind of sweet. This is so not me. <laughs> Hey, I'm like turning every new leaf, you know. <laughs> Come to the concert. Oh no. You, you did not see anything. <laughs> I didn't see a thing. The poor guy. I'd be scared. Very scared. You seem to have forgotten exactly who it is you're supposed to be guarding. I ought to fire you for just up and leaving me the way you did. <laughs> Carrot and but stick. But I suppose I'm partly to blame, letting you get away with so much. I didn't give you proper supervision. We both need to do some soul searching. Bartello, we're leaving. <laughs> yes, that should do. <laughs> I love how she feels she's got to practice all this, though. It's great. I didn't see a scene. <laughs> <sighs> there are a lot of work going through these conversations. There's so many of them, but there are lots of nice touches, I have to admit. Oh, we're on a trip here. Hey, everyone's having some fun. Oh, you remember when Donna said about the balloon the thing? Balloons are sure to reach the temple. Yeah, that. Donna? Let's give it a try. Wait, what? You don't mean... This can't be good. Oh, no! All my best for the concert! Goodbye, cruel world! I must go now. My planet needs me. Let's see if it works. I mean, we're, we're here. Oh my god, all the balloons. Oh, this thing. <laughs> it's just covered in balloons. <laughs> hey, Botello. Hey, look. These are some balloons that Donna sent us. So we decided to send some back. What about you? It's no good. Ah. No matter how many times I try, I overinflate the balloons and they pop. <laughs> oh, will my feelings be stranded here forever? Oh no. Donna! Not again. <sighs> Not again. <laughs> it's just too strong, you know. I need to find that man some boulders to punch. That might do a bit, a bit better. There you go. Alright, let's make our way back over to Luca then. The last time here we picked up a load of um, spheres from Shalinda. And we'll find some more. Don't touch that sphere because we've got Lady Yuna's concert live! Ooh. Thanks and stay tuned. I have the scenic shots here. Schlinda is great though. Like, um, it's interesting. Um, over the course of doing this and like spending some time letting like videos processing and such, I've been watching back through some of the Final Fantasy X scenes. Uh, there's a big compendium of all the cuts. It's like 12 hours long. So I'm slowly going through, and I get a chance to like see some Schlinda's stuff from there, realizing just how great she is in that game. Really awesome. Well, hi, Palo here. I see promoting the concert. <laughs> hey, I gotta admit, you know, um, 
Tobley's PR force are uh, they're pretty good. Well, I'm dragging quite the crowd. I'm a bit worried about the Thunder Plains. Like, it doesn't seem the safest place to uh, to put host the concert. Like, boats of space. Well, isn't that place like crawling with fiends? Hmm, a bit worried. Hey, look at that! It's the Goers. I guess Bitsville season's coming soon, isn't he? There they are: Bixen, Grav, Abus, Dorum, and Balgerda. Multi-time Crystal Cup champions until we defeated them back in Fantasy 10. I went back and watched the game that I played in the uh, the main series. Awesome game of Blitzball, by the way. Even if the commentary back then was pretty rough, my old mic and me being like 10 years younger. That's a scary thought. But that was a cracking game of Blitzball. Um, slight spoiler alert. If you haven't seen it, skip forward 15, 20 seconds. But yeah, we went 2-0 down, scored at the death with like an insane goal from, I think it was Datto in the, in the first half, and then Tidus scoring to make it 2-2, and Waka finishing to um, end like a minute ago. It was an amazing game of Blitz, but one of the better ones I've ever played. All right, couldn't find any more scenes, so it is off to Mushroom Rock Road, uh, because... Um, well, Mean High Road is all based around the Mean High Road mystery. If you've already done this, then you will not need to repeat the events here. And of course, Mushroom Rock Road will only work if you gave the Elson Sphere to the youth. Are you going to fight in Yevon? No, this is just a precaution. Well, that was a camera angle. intention of starting a war, but I do not know how long that can last. Tension among the troops is running high. It won't be long before their anger becomes uncontrollable. When the time comes, I fear I will not be able to staunch the cries for blood. I have failed. Yikes. Try and keep things under control a little longer. I'll do what I can to calm the situation down. An inspiration as always. Very well. For my part, I will keep the troops in order as Nuge would were he here. Do not let our troubles distract you from your performance. I will be quietly cheering you on. I see what you're doing there, Square. I see what you're doing. No, my, but yeah, obviously, as I was saying, if you gave the awesome sphere to prevail, you can't view any of this. And this is why. So I'll quickly explain this here. If you give the awesome sphere to Bavel, I believe there's one scene that gives you a percentage completion towards percentage points. The reason that that doesn't give you 100% is because if you do the Mushroom Rock Road, you come to here and now you get a very loud bike outside and you get two events that give you percentage, giving that last tiny bit of percentage to give you 100%. Not how I would have designed this game, but here we are. Well, uh, looks like we're it's uh, not long left though. I mean, yeah, Lucille obviously acting as Nuge's number two, doing her best to try and maintain order, but it's um looking pretty tough to stop the youth fleet from just murdering people. Quite concerning. Hey! Lady Yuna, why did you have to throw a concert the one time I can't go? <laughs> if only I didn't have these responsibilities. You could sneak out and come. But that wouldn't set a good example for my subordinates. Well then, bring them along too. <laughs> well, if Lady Yuna herself thinks it's okay, then maybe it is. Sure, why not? Why not? Understood. I'll think up some excuse. We'll see you at the concert. Frickin' Yibel, man. I swear. <laughs> Hey, to be fair to the guy, he's done some serious work in my team for the Fiend Arena, so I can't fault the guy. Speaking of Fiend Arenas, I will be getting some more reinforcements for Chapter 5. Don't you worry about that. Yibel Squad, form up! Yibel Squad? What in the... 
the spin of Rooney? We have received reports that New Yevon may be planning to disrupt Lady Yuna's concert. What? We're to proceed immediately to the Thunder Plains and secure the concert ground. <laughs> Yano Squad, let's move. <laughs> That's his excuse. <laughs> I've never heard that before. Oh, that's great. Good job, Yaibo. Fair play. Oh, I'll see you at the planes, man. <laughs> what the hell? New Yevon might be planning to attack while everyone's distracted by the concert. But everyone's still abandoning their posts and heading to the Thunder Plains. Tom, can you believe it? I know, right? Ridiculous. I can't take this anymore. Screw it. Maybe I'll go. <laughs> come one, come all. Oh, he's gone! <laughs> he's ditched his post! Awesome. <laughs> and that guy's gone as well? They've all left. Uh... I see the PR squad is doing a fine job. Sorry, Lucille. You'll understand. Alright then. That means everything else more to do here. So it is off to uh, Moonflow. Because, of course, Joji Temple's st sphere was stolen by the machine faction. Now... If you'd have gone to send Lee and Aid to the moon flow back in Chapter 3, this is now when you run into them. Although, I've already passed that. We went to Jose instead. Oma? What's she doing here? No, I don't think so. It's bad idea, yes. Oh, I heard you the first time. <laughs> Is something wrong? Lady Yuna, you won't believe this. I was planning on riding out my chocobo to see your concert, but this guy still won't let my chocobo on the shoe pub. Oh. Believe it? Impossible, impossible. Well, you could ride our airship. Ooh. No, don't worry about me. I will swim my way to the concert if I have to. Grief. Like I always say, where there's a will, there's a way. That's what I say. Well, Lady Yuna, bye. I'll see you at the concert. That was the best. That was the best. Hey, yeah. Concert promotion is underway. Got to run. Eh, fair enough. As long as it's going, going pretty well. Yeah, that's the main thing. <laughs> How many hypo do you think Tobley actually has um, under his disposal, by the way, for this mission? It, what the hell is that sound? Whoa, a super. Oh, God. Jeez! That's not funny. <laughs> he just stomped on the sphere. Great. Guessing this one's dead and dead and buried. Yeah, this one is toast. Great. All right then. Uh, next up, let's head to Guarus Alarm. At least this one's still working, I think. <laughs> For now. See how the syndicate's doing. Hey, Omi. So you're having a concert, huh? Yeah, you can come if you like. Sounds nice. Everybody's singing with everybody else just like two years ago. Back then, we was working for those Yevon creeps. Me and Logos was forced to do all their dirty work. Mm. <clears throat> those were bad times. But then... When you went to fight Sin, and we all sang the hymn of the faith, we could tell a new age was about to begin. It was magical. Bring some of that magic back to Spira again. I know you can do it. I won't let you down. 
So that actually explains something. You remember we saw one of those crimson spheres uh, with Ormi and Logos. It's seemingly a result of a, a, some sort of oper the, the operation with like there were people missing and one of the Yevon guys said to fix it. Now we know why they were in they were in Yevon's employ at the time. This is before they met LeBlanc, it seems. Interesting. Makes you wonder, who's that Yevon guy they were speaking to? <laughs> Still trying to recruit. Do you want to come to the concerts? They're they're on they're busy, you know. Oh no. Coming to Unapalooza. Everybody else is coming. This is no time for me to be going to concerts. You can't come. <sighs> if I knew LeBlanc was safe, it'd be different. Hey, you're trying your best, buddy. I appreciate that. <laughs> hmm, a concert, but without LeBlanc. <sighs> yeah. Hey, maybe she'll come back when she hears about all the fun. She loves that stuff. Yeah, when she's the star. Good point. Hmm. Was that Yuna's and Elma's voice actors there? It's always interesting hearing the NPCs and trying to work out who's. Wait, that was definitely Walkers earlier. <laughs> like I said, who used assets. Think if LeBlanc comes back, we could try and hijack the concert? What, and take on the Gullwings? I don't know. I think I'll pass on that, thanks. Come on, we can show them what the Syndicate's made of. Maybe we can even get some stage time. Whatever we do seems to end with us getting our clothes ripped off. <laughs> They're plotting something nasty. Mmm, very much. Maybe they deserved it. this shift change if the leblanc syndicate goes under you think the gull wings will let us join say what it might be a nice change of pace you know sphere hunting with a high summoner i don't care how high she is leblanc is infinitely classier Oof. <laughs> you're right she's still got a lot to learn oh that's not funny <laughs> All right. Doesn't look like there's very much else to. <laughs> Doesn't look like there's very much else going on here at the main floor. So I think we can we can probably move on. All right. Next up is the thunder. Wait, isn't this busted? I actually don't know. Hey, seems to be fixed up. All right. People are starting to gather up here. That's good. I'm glad I spent some time fixing up these towers. Otherwise, we'd have a serious problem. There's much else for us to do here, however, so uh, we're just going to move on for the time being. Next up, Markelani Woods. I'm going to miss this place when it's gone. Is there no way to save this? I guess without the faith. Yeah. This place is kind of doomed. I hope your concert will be big. Don't sneak up on me like that. Hey, belt out a couple of newts for me and the lads, eh? <laughs> sure thing, Donga. The 
faith has gone, and we also must go to our end with the woods. Now we have but to wait, wait for our time to come. Don't say things like that. Oh man, the comms here busted out. That sucks. All right. Uh, anything else going on here? I actually don't know. Hey. <laughs> Where do you keep coming from? All right, these three. Getting some serious interference on the severe waves, though. Oof. They're messing with my stuff. They are in the little ones. The little drummer's model looks so weird. Whoa. Jeez, that was... That was kind of scary. Honestly, games tend not to do horror too much. That was... That was a little unsettling. Anything else going on around here? Can't see an awful lot. Hey, it's one of those amorphous... Um, what's going on? Oh, there's its uh, super attack there, by the way. That, that sucks. That's a weird scene. I'm going to assume this means there's nothing else to be done here. strange all right then i'll take that as there's nothing else for us to do so i guess let's um head back to the traveling and see see if there's what's going on over here I, I i don't know maybe once is um reconnected with a walker does a walker know about our um our concert Forget the travel money you could earn. Lady Yuna, I can't believe you're having a concert and you didn't say so much as a word to me. I swear on the old Waka name, I'd have been selling tickets hand over fist for you. <laughs> We're not charging for the tickets. We just want as many people to come as possible. So you're saying people can see this concert even without a ticket? I figured it was already sold out, so I gave up on going. No, you should come see it too. I believe I'll do just that. Got any room for a concession stand? Maybe I could make me some guilt. <laughs> well, I'd best be on my way. And off he goes. Nice moment. Again, this also only works if you've paid off his debt previously, by the way. Makes sense. Anything much going on? Oh, that's the wrong, that's the wrong scene. My apologies. So if he leaves, I can't imagine much else happens here. Yeah, doesn't look good. Oh no! Somebody shame me! And off he goes. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, 
Alright, I'm fairly convinced there's not much else to do here, so uh, I guess let's go back towards Beak now. See if Nardla can uh, come along and pay a visit. Whoa! Nardla, what the heck happened here? Yikes! We sent out a group to stop that fiend, but they weren't very oh, successful. Oh, the mine you. If there's anything you can do, we'd be grateful. Uh oh. That sounds bad. Yep, yo. That can't be good. Well, rip that. That mind you fight is gonna be rough. And we still do have a commissary over at the Cactor Nation. I guess we can see if anything's going on. We didn't see a whole lot last time. We heard they were communicating something, but, well, we definitely didn't, didn't have any way to work out what they were saying. Off it goes again. One of these days, I might actually learn what you're saying. That'd be nice. Do you understand her, Shinra? I'm just a kid. <laughs> well, Benzo's just a kid, too. <laughs> That's surprisingly <laughs> mean. Hey, Benzo! Can I help you? Can you tell me what Marnell is saying? Ben's saying, he's always saying how he'd like to be more like Shinra. <laughs> Something like that. That's the gist of it. Enough. To turn that thing off. <laughs> hey! I wonder if it broke. He's quite a character. He's just trash my sphere. Rude. <sighs> Dear me. Alright then, well. Um, Pavel's busted. The Calm Lands one got eaten. So, I guess it's off to Gagazet and, um, go speak with Kamari. Oh wait, that's not Kamari. That's Garrick. What's he doing here? Well, I guess this is uh the world where, you know, the Ronzo didn't go to war. Guado Meester once steal life of many brave Ronzo. Hatred of Guado unite angry Ronzo youth. But Mountain not allow revenge on Guado. Mountain say hate never unite, Ronzo. What will unite lost Ronzo youth? Hmm. Yeah. It's not good times for the Ronzo. They are, uh. They are a uh, damaged people. Don't worry, Ron. Um, Garrick. I. I might be able to think of something. Elder Kamari, protect Mountain. Now, Ronzo Youth, not worry. Ronzo Youth, go to Yuna's concert. That's good. You all right, that buddy? I hope so. Oh, um, help. Huh? See. We're snowed in. <laughs> well, cheers for that. Could have been a bit more thorough, but uh, I'll take it. Kamari? Kamari swear oath on day Kamari meet young Yuna. Kamari always protect Yuna. Kamari is Yuna's shield. Kamari not fear anyone. Oath make Kimari strong. 
Yuna no longer needs shield, but Ronso do. Kimari swear oath again. New oath give Kimari new strength. Uh, I see. Pledging is um, the defense of the Ronso. Get on then. Kimari not fight Guado. Ronso youth think Kimari coward. But Kimari's eyes are clear. Kimari bear elder responsibility with wisdom. Ronso see Kimari and begin to see truth. Strength of Ronso is strength to avoid battle, not strength in battle. So obviously a lot of these scenes only play if we stopped Garrick's uh, rebellion. Um, if we hadn't failed to do so, things would be playing out pretty differently here. Anyways, I think that's basically us covered here in there. Um, the hot springs. Does this sphere still work? I don't actually know if there's anything to be done here. I think this list is just completely cleared. I don't think anything new happens in this chapter. Much like Xanakan Ruins in the first spin around, there's nothing. I don't think there's anything for us to do here, so I think I can quite reliably just uh, move on. Yeah, I'm fairly convinced. Speaking of Xanakan Ruins, we can now finally see some scenes here. Throw it in all corners. Hey, Quentin. You know. Hello. The Hypello told me the news. You're having a concert? Using the power of song to unite Spira. Is that it? I know you can do it. Or rather, you're the only one of us who could do that. <laughs> Good luck, Yuna. Jesus, alright. The high polar would be dancing with them, wouldn't they? <laughs> Feels rather fitting. Using Machina to talk like this still doesn't feel right to me. Mm. Working with Sid, I did get used to the idea, but I have my doubts. Maroda often laughs at me and says I'm behind the times. We talked with Maroda using one of these. He's in Bevel. Bevel? Really? But how is Bevel these days? <laughs> it's not looking too good. They can't find anyone to lead in place of Barrelai. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to push some of their problems on you, High Summoner. Well, what would they expect me to do? Mm. I had no idea things had gotten so bad. Thank you for telling me. It's all right, man. Hey, fancy promotion? <laughs> I wonder what I'm supposed to be protecting. Hmm. Sorry. Ah. I don't know, man. What do you think? I see you staring. <laughs> Hi, Pello. Hard at work, I see. <laughs> Man, these monkeys are everywhere, aren't they? We did some serious work in the previous chapters, and I am not unhappy about that. All right, doesn't look like there's very much anything else to do here in Xanakund. I think that pretty much covers everything that is required. See, not quite as long as the previous time, but still a, a fair amount to cover through. 71% completed. Not bad. Alright, everyone. So that is going to do it for a video. Uh, so I'll thank you all for watching. Uh, next time, I guess we'll go and have a chat with Riku, do some rehearsing, and then it's Unipalooza time. See you later.